so today we discuss about hdlc so hdlc is called as high level data link control and uh, this is forming a basis for uh, what do you say uh, practical protocols like point to point protocol or ethernet protocol and basically it implements this uh, stop and wait protocol stop and wait protocol means you will send a frame if you remember in our earlier discussion uh, we saw that the there is a sender and the receiver the sender sends the frame and it waits for an acknowledgement it waits for an acknowledgement to come from the receiver so receiver uh, data link layer when it receives a frame it will send this what do you say a frame uh, acknowledgement frame and immediately after sending a frame the sender will turn on a timer and the acknowledgement has to arrive before the timer times out now in the situation where the timer times out uh, the frame will be uh, reset so there is a case of duplication there is a case of duplication that's what is discussed here and again this uh, takes into account the lost frames all those things the frames can be reset because you don't receive back the acknowledgement so oh, that uh, that concept was clear and uh, we went to use sequence numbers we went to use sequence numbers to prevent this duplication of frames if you recollect the sender will send a frame and the receiver data link layer receives it uh, and before the timer times out the acknowledgement arrives very ideal situation the sender sends a frame it's lost it's lost means how it understands it's lost means it doesn't get back an acknowledgement so within the time timer duration so it will resend this frame and again uh, it's received correctly so it sends an acknowledgement back now the acknowledgement has a sequence number so in the frame uh, the data frames and the acknowledgement frames have have, uh, have sequence numbers which alternates between 0 and 1 so it is sending the frame with sequence number 0 means uh, the sender sends a frame with sequence number 0 the receiver uh, will send a frame with sequence number acknowledgement frame with sequence number one in, uh, so the one indicates that the next frame data frame should have it expects is a frame with the sequence number one so if it gets a frame with the sequence number zero it understands that it is a duplication it's a duplication so it is sending a frame here so um, receives an acknowledgement frame with zero sends this it's low the acknowledgement is lost so the sender thinks that the frame zero was not received correctly because it doesn't it didn't get back the acknowledgement so it will again resend this frame so what happens the receiver data link layer says that i am expecting a frame with a sequence number what one but i got a frame with a sequence number zero so i have to discard this frame it is discarded so duplication of this frame zero is prevented so uh, each of these frame contains different data frame zero and frame one only the sequence numbers they vary and the tcp ip uh, tcp trans transmission control protocol uses a, a format like this it has sequence numbers not as zeros and ones but they have a uh, sequence numbers which we'll see later uh, so that could be used to keep track of this um, the data frames being sent so that uh, there there won't be loss as well as uh, duplication all those things can be prevented so same same approach is used in your hdlc so hdlc is using this uh, stop and wait protocol and so to implement this thing your frame should have some bits frame should have some uh, bits say to indicate the sequence numbers to indicate uh, errors all those things and we mentioned something like call as piggybacking piggybacking is like uh, getting a free ride so uh, they say that if there is a this is a half duplex communication at a given point you can send only one party can send or receive uh, so uh, say the acknowledgement can piggyback rather than waiting for uh, uh, say losing time the for say uh, and the bandwidth by sending a separate acknowledgement frame you can um, club it to a data frame going in this direction that is what we call as piggybacking so you can get a free ride on a data frame which is going from 
this receiver, the node 2, I'll say, node 2 to node 1. So that is piggybacking. All those things need control bits in the frames to indicate that it is a piggyback frame, it is a data frame, or it is uh, something uh, meant for controlling, supervisory. All those things are taken care of in your HDLC. So HDLC provides two modes, two transfer modes, two common transfer modes. One is what you call as a normal response mode and the other one is called as an asynchronous balance mode. So normal response mode, you have um, something like this. There is a primary and there is a secondary. You could have a situation where multiple uh, secondaries are there and one primary node is there. The primary can send commands and receive both. The second uh, respond, secondary can only uh, respond, that is what. So uh, the normal response mode is used for point to point. This is a point to point and this is a point to multi point. So this is a multi point network. So this, um, so the primary can only, you can say master slave like that. So the correct terminology is primary and secondary for HDLC. They call it as primary and secondary. We have to follow that uh, convention. So, uh, so primary can send commands, secondary can only receive it. What commands we'll see? Then uh, asynchronous balance mode. Asynchronous balance mode, both the uh, what is a primary and secondary uh, can uh, functionality is provided in the link each node can act as both a primary and a secondary so the, that means it can send a command as well as uh, give a response both are possible so that is asynchronous balance mode so um, this uh, brings us to the frame format the frame format says that uh, say different types of frame format as mentioned earlier to provide these functionalities HDLC need to have uh, what do you say? Um, HDLC need to have specific frames. Say uh, HDLC needs to have a particular frame format, and uh, different types of frames. Different types of frames are there in HDLC. One is called as an I frame, which is called as an information frame, and a supervisory frame or S frames, and unnumbered frames, U frames. U frames are for system management. Say. Um, say conveying uh, this channel related information you can say like that so um, this uh, we'll have just an overview of what is this we won't specifically go into the control bits actually we won't go into the control bits we'll just say this actually this control bits gives each of these frames some um, that particular functionality say it's used to control this data uh, user data link and uh, and control information and it's only S frames or supervisory frames are strictly for control information alone and is used for uh, you unnumbered frames are used for system management. So this is what the frame format is. Basically, all these frames have a similar format. This is I frame. Uh, you call it as the information frame. Information frame contains this data. User information is the data. Then it will have a start and the end flag some sequence some specific sequence and ad address address will be the to address to address then some control information this control information um, determines the uh, uh, things like say piggybacking so i told uh, say piggybacking of data all those things are managed by this controls uh, control field then uh, FCS that is frame check, check sequence that is pertaining to um, what do you say error control you will have CRC CRC a small CRC 4 bit 4 bit CRC uh, by the way I didn't um, put that example of CRC in the class I have neither posted the um, what do you say recordings of the previous class I'll, I'll do it today okay so these three types of frames are there so um, I frame, S frame and U frame, I frame, S frame and U frame. So this, this is the flag sequence, flag sequence com contains six ones a, a, a bit sandwiched between two zeros. So that is, uh, this will identify both the beginning as well as the end, beginning as the end. This uh, and the address field always contains a secondary address. So 
uh, say if your primary field you nr primary station created the field uh, frame then it is uh, containing the to address secondary means it contains a from address always it contains a secondary station address it's not containing uh, the the primary station address rather it always contains a secondary station address that is the address field so depending upon your network uh, requirement you will have one byte or several bytes it depends we'll see uh, later on in ethernet wireless lan as well all these cases we'll see how is the network address so that will be the more practical case okay so uh, so this is uh, you have these two fields the flag then um, the address field address field always contains a secondary address then the control field control field is what gives the functionality it is used for flow as well as error control um, we won't uh, discuss it uh, in much in detail because uh, you could uh, say uh, we'll revisit this topic again because uh, uh, i don't want to complicate this uh, thing and drive away people from this uh, uh, subject altogether we'll say control field has functionality for flow and error control it has uh, one or two bytes and that those bytes are used for flow and error control it can indicate various things so it can have a sequence uh, uh, length then it can have uh, uh, say some error control related information that is what you can say and then the information field if you come back user information that contains your actual data that contains your actual data and uh, or it can have a uh, management related information channel management information that uh, that uh, in case of a u free and uh, fcs frame check sequence uh, error detection field so it contains either a 2 byte or 4 byte crc so this is uh, uh, the summary this is a summary of uh, whatever uh, we um, uh, say the hdlc this is the yeah, bare minimum bare minimum requirement to understand what is an hclc hclc is pro, pro, it's a, a protocol which uh, is a top and weight protocol which implements uh, concepts of flow and error control and uh, using a frame format which has a particular frame format and uh, so that um, why